Well, it's the crack of dawn, Friday morning. I'm loading up Equinox and shovel and extra shovel. Now, what's that for? I got all my restaurant knives in here. And I got one in my hand. That's the last one. And that's the one I do in the afternoon. I start out here. When I go to that one right there, um, 15 minutes from the patch. And then that's where I'll end up. Stand by for, I hope, more buttons. Maybe a coin. We're dying to find a coin. It's impossible to lose all those buttons and no coins. Makes no sense. The patch on Friday. The patch, the Mummel's Man is, Man of Corpus brought the Mummel's Man out of retirement. Stand by. I got a fairly good repeatable number and sound, but not much on the screen. You can see it. Sometimes it hits right at the top of that gray box. But it's a nice solid sound. We're going to dig it up and find out. Solid 16 out. Stand by. Well, I could have told you what it was, but there it is for live and living color. Well, I moved out of the patch. The patch is behind me. I'm in the old field where the uh, tr wagon tracks used to be. Stand by. I thought we got all these out of here years ago. <laughs> there it is. Well, that was a hell of a hole. I had to dig all around that big tree right there, is it? I didn't film it because I didn't, wasn't sure what it was. It was a 21, solid 21. But after uh, some extensive digging, it's a big daddy fat button. I mean, flat button. Look at that baby. Ain't that something? Good, googa mooga. 21. Well, is it a 22? Stand by, let's find out. I don't know what this is. Stand by. Right on the money. Well, check this one out. Stand by. Well, I got no clue. But apparently there's some more of it in the hole, but still reading 38 in the hole. Stand by.
Now it's 37 out. Not me. That is right there, but damn, if I can find it. Wait a minute, I got it now. Yeah, a little piece of it, I think. See it? Okay. A couple of holes from the other day. One there, one here, one there, one here. Listen to this. Some tell me this is no good, but I want to find out what it is. Well, I haven't dug it yet. I'm moving around on it. Nothing this way. Not a sound, hardly. That's what I don't like about it. Well, I guess we'll never know until we try it. Well, she didn't lie. She told me what it was. Now we know. I'm learning. Learning every day. Stand by. I got no idea. Well, I got a strong idea now. <laughs> A 10, 11, a 12. But it sounded really good. I thought it was a 22. But I have no clue what it is. Stand by. It read 21 in the, in the ground. Maybe a shotgun shell. Never figured that. Looks like a fire 22. God.
Bingo, bango. I don't see no eagle, I don't think. I think plain old flat. Here's a mumbles man button. Buttons are a little tight today. Did that come in about 12? Uh, uh, 17. 17, that's about right. Damn, I'm in a time, time machine. I've gone up a hundred years, 150 years. Looks like a pencil eraser to me. I am at sort of the modern end of this thing anyway. Well, here we go. We got tested today on some iron tickets. And I don't know what this is, but it's interesting. A little bit of lead, pencil eraser and shells. One big button, one little button. This one got some dot doodads on it. Can you see them? I got a better picture coming. Big, nice button. Yeah. I, I, I hope, I hope it's gonna be rain tomorrow, we're on holiday. I forgot now, this is that one thing we found that had a hell of a sound, but I have no clue what it is. While I was at the button patch, Chris got some tickets that came in for me. We got a big old hedge trimmer. We got an anvil pruner. We got two bypass pruners. A hankel chef's knife, a hankel slicer, and a hankel boner. And then another lady dropped off this tiquito. It's a ice shaver. That's what she calls it. Probably is. She uses it in her garden. I sharpened it up for her. 